hello welcome back to the next video uh, on this angle bracket analysis in the previous three videos we looked at different ways of calculating the reaction loads uh, due to a due to an applied load going in different directions one was going up one was going to the left and the other one was going to the right in this video it's going to be again about the load going to the right except the way we are going to draw the free body diagram and the way we are going to calculate the reaction load in the fastener uh, is going to be different all right so i'm excited to share this video with you and uh, let's get started <music> Okay, so let's uh, get started here. Um, let's get into this uh, alternative method uh, of calculating the reaction loads on this angular angle bracket with a horizontal load going to the right. So uh, let's start with our angle bracket in its initial position. It's the same as the last video that we did with the PX going to the right at the top of this angle bracket and it's fastened at the bottom here and this time we're assuming there's a rigid surface underneath. Um, this is based on some of the feedback that I have received before. So uh, let's assume that there's a rigid surface which you know nothing is really rigid but um, based on the differences between the stiffnesses it can be uh, relatively rigid. So uh, in that situation what we have is this free body diagram okay so there you have it you have a px going to the right we have the same moment arm as we discussed before uh, except this time we don't have a heel toe type distribution we do not have a triangular reaction load distribution down here instead we assume that this is going to arch a little bit as you bend this part of the angle bracket here this top part uh, and therefore eventually what happens is this is the pivot point for this moment applied on this bracket so there there would be an edge reaction going along this edge at the total of that reaction load is going to be RHT which is heel toe um, the heel toe would shift to that edge is is what it means and the distance of this reaction from the fastener axis is now this total X along the horizontal axis and uh, also we have our standard fastener uh, reaction, fastener RFT reaction load over here and of course the horizontal load is balanced by the horizontal reaction RX same as before okay so now let's get into our classical hand calculations and uh, doing the uh, equations of equilibrium so we'll start with what are the entities involved we have FX, FY uh, which is basically PX for FX and FY are these two different reactions and MZ is the moment about the axis coming out of the plane of this sheet of paper uh, going through the center of this fastener axis okay so the first one we'll do is force balance going along FX Sigma FX equals to zero alright Sigma FX equals zero so what does that mean it means that PX is equal to RX because PX minus RX equals to zero so this load must equal this reaction and this reaction is shared by these two fasteners equally that's the assumption and therefore the total reaction uh, shear load going along X would be half of PX in each of these fasteners so that's one equation we have here the second equation is Sigma FY equal to zero and therefore what we have is RFT is equal to RHT because there's nothing else balancing uh, this particular uh, fastener reaction there's only one other reaction now the key point here is that we are assuming there won't be any heel toe underneath this part of this angle bracket now if you assume that it may be better for the fastener in terms of a more conservative load but it would be a statically indeterminate problem what that means is that we would have more unknowns to solve the equations of equilibrium of static equi equilibrium than we have known equations so that's why it's generally assumed that there's no heel toe here and the other part uh, that somebody mentioned in some of the feedback that I got uh, which I tend to agree is that this is too far out here 
and there is uh, a fastener that's holding this thing down and therefore heel toe is not really a possible way out here because of this arch. Uh, so that kind of makes sense because it's not as direct as pulling this leg up which causes the heel toe which is more direct. Uh, therefore this is kind of an indirect way of causing a heel toe which is less likely to produce a significant heel toe reaction load. Uh, and this is this is the reason why the previous video is more conservative in terms of the fastener reaction. Uh, and so I like that way of doing it. But again, you know, it doesn't mean that's the only way to do it. This is the other way to do it if it's acceptable to the approving authorities. All right. So what we have here is sigma Fy equal to zero. Therefore, RFT is equal to RHT because RFT uh, RHT minus RFT is equal to zero to satisfy this equation of equilibrium. And the third equation is obtained with the moment balance. So the Px times Y is your applied moment, same as before. And uh, because we're taking it about the fastener axis, uh, we don't have a moment contribution from RFT and only from RHT. So what we have is sigma mz equal to zero about the Fasner axis, and therefore px times y, px times this y, is equal to this rht about the Fasner axis times the distance from the axis of the Fasner. This time that distance is, is made equal to x, which is the horizontal distance, all right? Whatever that dimension is. And therefore, we have rht or r. Uh, the the heel toe reaction is equal to px times y divided by x. Now, if you remember, the in the last video we had two thirds of that distance, right? We had two thirds of that distance, which was like somewhere here. That was x, and therefore we have a smaller number here in the bottom, and your your rht would be a bigger number because of that smaller number on the bottom. So it's more conservative for the Fasner reaction in that scenario. So uh, in this scenario, we, we have a slightly larger x. And again, due to this equation, we have that same reaction, which is the same uh, force that the RFT would be equal to because of the sigma Fy equal to zero equation of equilibrium. equilibrium. All right. Um, so that's it, folks. And, uh, you know, make sure that, uh, as I always say, make sure you check out the free blog at uh, stressebook.com slash blog. And you can also get a free e-booklet for now. Uh, it won't be free forever. So again, I've said this before, while you have a chance, go grab that ebook. It's a very interesting stuff. It's been downloaded many thousands of times and it's very popular. So go get it right now. Go subscribe. And also, if you really want to get serious about learning, then there's a bunch of really high quality stuff in the paid courses in the premium membership. So I encourage you to check out this particular website page uh, to find out more about the courses offered on the on the website and there's more coming more interesting stuff to be added so uh, check it out and thanks for watching and we'll see you later